Welcome guys to OMG Let's Talk. My name is Erica and I'm here with Jesse. We're covering 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. Let's talk about Sophie and Rob. So previously with Sophie and Rob, you guys remember, it wasn't like last episode, but the previous episode before that, Sophie was talking with Kay about how they're not having sex and Sophie moved in with Rob. So mm-hmm. hopefully things are good now. I don't know. Yeah. So the, she, he's been, she's been back, moved in for like a week or two or something. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they go to this flea market, aka it's like the swap me, pretty much. Yeah, it's like swap me, same same thing. I am not sure. (laughs) I really like. Isn't it weird? And I know how awkward it is for them. Weird how? Yeah, it's like you guys are married, and it's kind of weird to hold hands, or you guys don't know how to hold hands. They're just so uncomfortable with each other at this point. Yeah. Yeah. But, swap meets but are they sick, get bro. To, yeah, swap meets are really cool. They have Ooh, all, all these cool things. Stuff, Sophie's like, yeah, they don't have swap meets in London. He's like, yeah, they probably do. You just probably never been there. You bougie ass. Because she's yeah, she's bougie. She mm-hmm. doesn't know about this. She's like, what is this like low class? Rob, stuff. <laughs> Rob made a good point though. He's like, yeah, like I could have took you to the mall, but that's no fun for me. So, <laughs> of course, yeah, because if you take her to the mall, she's just gonna run away and do her own thing. Mm-hmm. So at least here, they're looking at things together. Mm-hmm. They go to this little shop where they're selling crystals. This is kind of cool. And they're talking to this guy, and she finds like a necklace that she really wants, and the rock is. What is it like clairvoyance or something? It's amethyst and it has like it signifies like um being like aware and like having like feelings and gut feelings. And he he was talking about clairvoyance, which is like gut feelings or knowing something before it happens. It's like psychic. Yeah. So it's a Sophie's magic like act. It's a magic excited. act on AGT. That's all <laughs> I fucking know. Yeah. Sophie's excited though, because she's like, Yes, that's totally me. I mm-hmm. have that all the time. I dream about things and mm-hmm. then they happen. And Rob's just, Rob's over in the corner just fucking rolling his eyes, like, oh fuck, like, here we go. The best of these crystals that oh. are out here for insight, clarity, and also uh clairvoyance. <laughs> she's like, Yeah, she's that's like, that, that's yep. me. Uh-huh. I mm-hmm. need that necklace. Mm-hmm. It's funny how she can't get over Rob's cheating or anything. It's just still there, and they're trying to figure it out, free figure it out. But yeah, because this guy, I, I, what was his name? He had, uh, dang, what was his I, name? I didn't get his name. Jake or something. It's a one syllable name, but he um, because Sophie's like, yeah, you know, he doesn't listen to me and this and that, and he steps in. He's like, you don't say that. You're bringing in negative energy. Like it's so funny. Like this guy comes in and like really schools him on relationships. You do not do, this, you do, not do that. Yeah. Because you're throwing a negative at. So what you need to do is both of you write down your grievance mm-hmm. and exchange them. He, ar- <laughs> he yeah. already did that. Yeah. He already did that, and his grievances to me was just I'm messy. <laughs> that's his list of like her cleaning up after herself remember yes i mean it's true mm-hmm. rob did put that list together and it was really shady mm-hmm. but i mean she also doesn't have to do what he's saying like you always do this you always do that like and it is bringing a bunch of negativity to their relationship it is yeah all they all she ever does is bicker now yeah but this guy comes in this with is like, like he is yeah. like a everybody has a, a therapist baggie. That you want to drop it and leave it alone. Yeah. Well, relationships are like crystals because it's about balance and energy. God, this guy is so lit, well, dude. I feel like if they get a therapist, Always this guy should be the heart. therapist. For real. Just hire, hire this dude. TLC should Even just hire this time. guy and just get him in for yeah. fucking all of them, dude. You, you know how Bring to end to the a, last resort. Or during, like through the process of um, married at first sight, they have the people 
That this guy needs to be yeah. that for a 90 day. That'd be so lit, bro. Like the I, Pastor John or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah. Mm. I feel like 90 day couples need all those therapists. The sex therapists, the mm -hmm. spiritual therapists. It would be such that. a good idea. It would be a good idea. If they're actually looking for success in the relationship, they should bring in some external help. I think that'd be interesting too. Yeah, kind of bring it back it to the core 90 day like the season one through five 90 day where the show was focused on actual love and success and now it's fo focused on failures and train wrecks negativity mm -hmm. yeah so much negativity going on right now it's not as much love like um yeah it's not as joyful it's a lot this is problems i mean everyone had problems before but they definitely made the good part seem even better now that don't, they yeah, don't focus like on the good. With ninety, with ninety day fiance now, it seems like they drag the problems for like episodes and episodes. I didn't feel like that before. No, unless we were just more into it or something. But I've had this conversation with Marley all the time. Like, yeah, it just seems a little more of a drag, and it was much more mm -hmm. like I feel like it in the first like four or five seasons you're actually rooting for the couples and in this one you're kind of ruined for them to fail because that's how they've portrayed it over the last couple seasons like yeah or yeah, we just do. got fucking bored with everyone being so happy and that even us are just like we need this shit to fail or else i ain't watching so i don't really know the answer okay. but are gonna, we here for the negativity crystals, you know so Sam yeah is definitely your crystal whatever helps the relationship I appreciate oh, what no. he's saying about the relationship advice. I mean, <laughs> you're probably wrong about it. He's, he cracks me up. Between us, <laughs> but I would say that Sophie and I probably need a little more than just some crystals to help us in the long run. <laughs> I like you. You guys have needed that since the beginning, yet you don't do anything about it. You right. just kind of like hide your problems. Uh huh. They need fucking what's his name, dude. Yeah. Yes, it's it's this guy. I'm also a shaman. Yeah, we need to cleanse the house oh. and all that too. Uh, so. I can do that. Yes, that Doug. No Fucking Doug, dude. Doug. Do, 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 Come do, cleanse do, the do. house. Get all that negativity out. Help this couple out. They're in desperate need. For real, man. All right. But where where do they move to after this? Yeah. After this, Sophie is at home by herself, and she started like cleaning, and she mentioned how. She doesn't like cleaning when someone tells her what to do. So I'm just wondering, did Rob leave the house and like say, when I get back, the whole house needs to no. be clean? No, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, but fuck, maybe. I don't know. But she gets on a video chat, though, with her mom, Claire. She's in Mexico and she's just talking to her about how. I guess they were recording at one point and a phone started vibrating and they both said it wasn't their phone, but they mm -hmm. couldn't figure out where the vibrating was coming from. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. What do you think and about the mom's that? Like, Does it seem fishy or does it seem like something got connected to a Bluetooth and his phone was supposed to be on airplane mode? Like, I'll, I'll play the clip and everything, Like, but it is really, I don't know. Why would he be that? I just don't understand why he would be that stupid. That and there was also a bunch of people like production hanging out with them, so it could have been any of the production team members' phones. Yeah, so yeah, check it out. But he also does in his face, it almost looks like he's trying to avoid hide the thing. Yes, like that kind of face right there. Like, what? what's going on? What's going on? This is the biggest thing. I mean, it's Obviously, his phone because he has the voicemail. Get over here. Oh, is still on airplane mode. Wait, so it was connected to Bluetooth, so it is somebody's phone in the house. And where was that coming from? Oh, yeah, that's Rob's voicemail. Wait a minute. What? Well, that's the thing that she's tripping on. It was Rob's voice on the voicemail. This when, guy does have a second phone. He when, probably got a second phone because Sophie checks his main phone all the time. It's I don't know. It's really weird. I, he have two phones. I don't think I don't think he has another phone. Why would he have it on the bed when I'm there? That's oh, what I'm so saying. Like it's just so stupid. He's that bold. Claire calls it a hell like, phone. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> the ho phone. He's got dude. a ho phone. The mom's like, you need to go find that ho phone right now. <laughs> It's there somewhere, which is dumb because why would Rob leave the phone while he's away? Yeah, well, yeah, that's another kind of dumb thing because she goes to check, like, she's like, where would he keep it? Oh, by the spiders because she knows that she wouldn't go no, to the I spiders. Find, if there's a phone, I will find the phone. What games does he have there? Madden? No, oh, I need some clarity. Hold on. <laughs> what games? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wish I was there now. I'd find that phone in less than 15 minutes. What's Rob no, playing? What's Rob no, playing? If there's a phone. I will it's like two games only modern warfare and madden hmm i could see that this a fake Just gamer two. yeah he doesn't, all he, doesn't the, play, yeah he, he doesn't play games he plays modern warfare and madden those there's people like that <laughs> mm -hmm. wow but sophie doesn't find the phone mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. she freaks out about the spiders like don't because they're moving I, in my opinion, I think that Rob does have a hope. You think so? Yes. You don't think so? I don't. I. Fuck, dude. I don't know. He's. I would like to think that he's smarter than that, but you're right. The past has shown that he is not good at hiding things. So. Like, all. I mean, if he really <laughs> stopped talking to a bunch of women and like he put a stop to that, that's cool. But I just don't see Rob doing that. Like, I, mm -mm. I feel like he always wants to have some side piece. It's true. Like, it, it's, Sophia will never be enough, huh? Like, he just has some weird thing that, like, he, I don't know. Some people, like, it's an addiction or a, some kind of problem where they're just always seeking, I don't know, more, I guess. Yeah, like it may be seeking attention from another person if Sophie's not giving him that. Or just the attention that he gets from Sophie in a marriage is not enough to fulfill like his like curt quirks and stuff like that. So he that chats is. with girls online and this and that. And there's a lot of people like that that are going to be single for the rest of their life and divorced. And so. Yeah, like is, is, Ro is Sophie not enough? Yeah. <sighs> Well, that's constantly how she feels. She says it all the time. Yeah, it's probably why they don't have sex because he's wanting a lot more than what she's trying to offer. I don't know. I am so interested about this whole phone thing, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's true and he's just doing the same thing that he was last time because that had to do with the phone too, talking with girls. Yeah. And even though there's no like real connection, he's still giving them time and attention and asking for nudes and sending dick pics and... Yeah. Like even though but it's not the emotional cheating, right? Yeah, no, even though it's not an emotional connection, it's still some sort of connection going on. Mm -hmm. And that's not right. You're married, <clears throat> get over it. It's cheating, dude. It's yes. cheating. Yeah. But that was it for them this episode. I think on the next episode they might go to a therapist. I'm pretty excited to see that. <laughs> no phone news for the next episode? Mm. Well, Sophie, in her interview, she's like, I'm going to hold back on the phone thing until I have more evidence, kind of, right? That's what she says. She probably talk to him about it. That's. I think they need some sort of communication in their marriage because they're constantly, like, not talking about things and just holding it all down, and then it becomes a bigger issue at the end. Yeah. Fuck. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, that was it for them. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button, leave us a comment, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye.